all right guys how you doing we're back and this is our setup this is everything we need all of our ingredients right now our pot is warming up um in the pot is just uh half and half olive oil extra virgin olive oil and uh canola oil right here we have some small diced carrots small diced celery small diced onions uh, you see we have two bay leaves and a little sprig of rosemary, fresh rosemary. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in. We want to flavor our oil immediately as it starts to warm up, okay? Um, I have some dill weed here. I'm going to also put that in. I'm putting all my herbs in in the beginning so that way my oil will be nice and flavored. And then at the end, all I do is throw in my, my sea salt and um, my pepper, okay? Um... I like to do that so that way the, because oil is you know even though it's a small amount of oil once you flavor the oil guess what y'all the oil is going to get in between everything it's going to get in between all the veggies it's going to get in all of the the meat and everything like that so you'll get that same flavor uh throughout the entire pie you know and that's what you want you don't want one one side of the pie to taste like onion and the other side to taste like carrot but you want it all mixed together and you want it nice and you know evenly distributed throughout your pie so that's what the first step to doing that is making sure that your oil is you know flavored all the same okay so that's two bay leaves a sprig of uh, fresh rosemary and some dill weed okay and i have my fire right now on or my heat right now is on medium low okay so i'm just going to let that kind of render in there and get that flavor in there okay okay cool all right so um how y'all doing um we are making turkey pot pie so i hope y'all can see my pot really well um, we're just going to move this around inside that oil because the next thing that's going to go in is our veggies. Okay, we're not going to waste no time. We're going to get right into it. All right, y'all. Um, but while we letting that heat up in the oil, let me tell y'all, let me show y'all the rest of our ingredients. Um, we have our, our pie crust here. Okay, I did not make pie crust from scratch. I could, but that would just be inconvenient for me because this is also dinner. All right. So we got the uh, pie crust, which I perforated myself with a fork. Um, and when I feel the, when I fill up the pie crust, I'll move my camera to, on this side of the stove so y'all can see that set up. All right. Um, and then for the top of the pie crust, I just got the roll, the, um, roll of pie dough to go over, over top it. Okay. Um, so that smells really good, really, really good already. Um, the oil is starting to turn a little green from the herbs. So that's how you know that the oil is taking on the flavor of the herbs that you are using, okay? Um, let me let y'all see the turkey. Uh, this is the turkey it's frozen turkey from thanksgiving all right um and as long as you date and um label your your leftovers and you freeze them guess what they're just good as new now the turkey is going to be the last thing that we use because this turkey is already cooked so we don't want to overcook the meat so the last two things that we're going to add to the mix before we add it to the pie crust is the turkey and the sweet peas because they they are already cooked okay I bet so that oil should be nice and flavorful right now so the first thing we're going in with is the carrots celery and onion or mirepoix all right throw that in there like so like that y'all tap got that stuck in my head every time I cook now I'm like like so like that <laughs> like so like that okay so get that in there look at all that beautiful color y'all that looks good right and um obviously we're going to pull out that that bay leaf and the in the sprig of rosemary but we're just keeping it in there and we're letting it cook right along with everything else all right now we're not going to cook these veggies all the way down but we're going to cook them maybe about halfway through because once we put the pies in the oven the pot pies in the oven they're going to finish 
the cooking process so we don't have to worry about that i'm turning up the fire, the heat just a little bit to medium right here all right so let those do their thing in there okay and um let's talk about some more of our ingredients here we have the diced potatoes all right now a lot of people probably don't are not used to having potatoes in their pot pie me i i, I because of the ingredients that we're using i'm feeling like the potatoes are going to make this a more hearty uh pot pie and kind of make it uh far far make the flavor move away from thanksgiving turkey my point is to use the leftover um, the leftovers that we have for, for Thanksgiving, but you don't want it to still taste like Thanksgiving, you know And so how you do that is flavor you add other things such as the mirepoix we have here Potatoes make it nice and hearty right and give it other flavors add other flavors to it So that way you won't have to worry about um, Your your leftovers tasting like who, what they were left over from all right so when we get back, y'all, y'all going to see me fill up the uh, pie crust and y'all are going to watch me um, make the roux. 